Hey everybody, Retro Geek Dad here, back with a, another toy review. This time we are looking at the Masters of the Universe Origins Eternian Palace Guard. Um, I had seen this set uh, kind of leak, I guess, online. And they had said it was going to be like a specialty store kind of thing. Um, when they announced that, they had put it up for order on, uh, I believe it was a Big Bad Toy Store. So I went ahead and I had pre-ordered it. Well, I had learned through some of the He-Man websites and forums and stuff that uh, these were actually starting to show up at Big Lots. Um, if you can tell by the sticker right here at the top, that's where I picked mine up. Um, and just a heads up, if you are looking for this um, and you go to a Big Lots, it's not going to be in the toy department. Um, as of right now, there's like a Christmas section towards the front of the stores, and this is where he was. Um, it's kind of like in a little Christmas toy area um, towards the front of the store. But um, I'm kind of excited about this one. It's really cool if you want to do like an army builder thing. Um, I picked up uh, two of them, actually, because it does come with alternate heads. Um, but we're going to get to that in a minute. But, uh, yeah, I want to do a quick review, unboxing, and uh, check them out. Okay, so we'll go ahead and we'll check out the packaging real quick. So right off the top, um, it's got this really cool picture here at the top. Um, real quick though, uh, Big Lots uh, did pay $20 for it, so that's not bad. Um, it's actually cheaper than what I had pre-ordered for at Big Bad Toy Store. Um, so it's not, not too bad. Um, but just going over the picture real quick, so we have a lot of the Eternian Palace Guards here. Um, let's have the Kingdom kind of right here in the background. And these are pretty cool. These are the um, little Skeleton Knights. Um, if you look back at my Castle Grayskull review, um, it actually shows on the front of the package for Castle Grayskull, Evil Lynn um, summoning these um, little Skeleton Warrior people. So that would be really cool if um, maybe... You know, some time, some somewhere down the line, we got those. Those are really cool. You know, like an opposite of these, being the good guys, those are the bad guys. But uh, just real quick, so we do have the Eternian Guard. Um, and his weapon, uh, it's the Halbert. It looks just like Scare Glows, just in uh, silver. Uh, over here we have the vintage style Man at Arms head, the kind of squishy head. Um, it's like another man at arms kind of armor, uh, silver shield, and uh, man at arms mace. Uh, on the side, this continues the wrap around with the skeleton knights. And here on the back, we have a scene in the throne room. And there's a lot kind of going on here. Um, Appears to be man at arms, but it's like the um, frozen uh, crystal man at arms that was in one of the episodes of the cartoon. Um, I think Super Seven actually made an action figure kind of based on that scene, but I'll see if I can find a picture and throw it up real quick. Okay, so we also have. Um, I'm not sure this might be Skeletor kind of sneaking in, but there's this amulet right here that he's holding. Now, um, I'm about to do some research and see what I can find about that. But it's pretty cool looking. And we have the king and the queen over here. There's Tila. Um, I'm not quite sure who that is. Might just be a background character, but uh, check out the rest of the packaging. So we have the. Um, I believe it's Wave 6. Um, the Beast Man West Web Store, Stinkor. Train guys. I believe that's Wave 6 off the top of my head. Um, and Raider. Which is where you can just change out the armor and everything and swap out the heads. And on that side, um, unless you know who that is, that is Moss Man. They're kind of busting up out of the ground with the vines. And then that's obviously uh, Moss Man's weapon. His mace. And on the bottom we have all the legal. The UPC code. So yeah. 
the packaging is really cool. I really like that. But um, we're going to open it up real quick and do a quick review. I've got my other um, Man at Arms Origins figure. We'll do kind of a comparison with that. And uh, check it out. Okay, so go ahead and we'll open this. And don't see any tape. I don't need that. Don't need any tape. blue background tilt the camera down so we do have the little instructions talks about all the removable pieces and stuff so, any, we don't have any rubber bands there is um, those little plastic tabs those little string things I think that's the only one. No, nope, we have some around his feet. So here we have our Eternian Palace Guard. It looks like all of his armor is removable. We have the head. So there's actually another head under here molded, but the helmet's glued on. I'm assuming it's piece of trash. Assuming it's gonna be pretty much the same head as this one, just with the mouth guard. But yeah, this helmet is connected. Yeah, it's the same head. Try to focus. There we go. Yeah, it's the same head. So and then the armor we get, it's actually like the man-at-arms armor that came with the Origins figure. Of course, it's all bent up. I'm sure they kind of stuck it in the packaging. We have the silver shield. Just a basic one. Kind of looks like um, Stinkor's blue shield, just in silver. And then the man-at-arms mace. And the halberd, which is like scare glows, like I said, this one's just cast in silver. So, go ahead and check them out. Let's see if I can lower the camera. Excuse me. So, pretty cool figure. And one of the armor does have these little buckles here. So, we can take those off. Easier said than done. Tilt the camera down so far. For my thumbnail trying to get it off. Take the leg armor off. Coming on really blurry, let me see. Okay, so 
up just here. Got a new tripod, so I'm having to figure it out. So I'll take this one off. So there's all of that. And the back just has the center pieces here. And yeah, so the armor is really not that easy to get off once you get it on there. I'm just going to slide that off there. So there is your basic regular <coughs> body figure for the Dallas Guards. So I've got... regular man at arms right here so there's the two different man at arms figures take that one I'll go ahead and pop off man at arms armors real quick set that to the side just do this the easy way pop off his arm and the leg armor so we have the two figures so they're both kind of the same uh, with the exception of the gauntlets are painted on the Eternian Guard and the little gem on the belt so it's basically the exact same figure just that that thing you know the little paint details there so we'll set man at arms to the side uh, go ahead and change out the head so this is the head that was, that kind of sits funny, this is the head that was on, um, like the head that was on the vintage Man-at-Arms, which, um, let me get my vintage one real quick, we'll do a comparison with that. Okay, so I have my vintage Man-at-Arms, um, tell he's kind of beat up, seen a lot of battles, but, um. I just wanted to do a little comparison of the new Eternium Palace Guard. Um, it heads the jawline and everything. They try to keep it the same. You know, there's more detail on the vintage style head. But you can see that they were trying to kind of recreate it. Of course, the helmet's different and everything. But, uh, yeah, that's the uh, vintage one. So, I want to see what he looks like with the man-at-arms armor on. Um, unfortunately, I do not have, <coughs> excuse me, any of the accessories for the vintage man-at-arms. Um, those have all been lost over the years, unfortunately. But, just kind of see how he looks with the armor on. Just this top part. Top part. Is that one thing that kind of bugs me is how far high his head sits? I don't think it'll go down any further. So, it's one thing that kind of bugs me it's like a little paint, like a little bubble in the plastic right there. Let's see if I can scrape that off. But yeah, that's one thing that kind of bugs me is <clears throat> how high the head sits up. Try it with the other head. Of course, with having that that type of mask on, you really don't need this. But that's pretty much the same. This is the <coughs> excuse me armor piece for the Origins Man at Arms. So it's uh, it's the exact same piece. So um, since I have two of them, I might display. Uh, one of them with the vintage style man at arms head um, I'll probably do that and you know the vintage armor um, might do like a piece of leg armor maybe one of the arms and then you know this piece here piece here like that and 
limit that arm. And on the leg, bracers. This. Of course, once again, trying to get these armor pieces on. Kind of a pain. It's like the plastic stiff, if that makes any sense. But I have to heat that up. Okay, so I went ahead and I put all of his armor back on. Um, I just want to talk about the armor real quick. So I've noticed that um, the forearm guards here, they just, there's really no getting them tight. Um, as opposed to like, you know, the leg pieces or the top pieces, they just kind of want to fall off like that. Um, the buckles, attaching the buckles, um, the plastic seems a little harder. Um, it's not as stretchable, I guess, as the um, as the man at arms one. His his little um, buckles are a little easier to get in and out. Um, yeah, I mean it's going to be good for like army building, um, customizing. You know where you can take the figure apart and everything. Um, I'm going to show him real quick with his weapons because I haven't shown that yet. So he does have his, you know, his halberd. And he has his shield. Which kind of sits there. So, if you want to do like an army build, um, that would be pretty cool. Just have, a, you know, a few of them sitting up. Um, or if you wanted to do, you know, display with the mace. And he's got his mace. But, um... All in all, you know, it's a pretty good figure. Um, it kind of makes me think that, um, you know, maybe further down the line we'll have, like, um, accessory kits or, you know, like the weapons packs um, from the vintage line. Just um, extra parts or pieces that we can use to, uh, you know, make more customizable figures. Um, but I like it. Um, 20 bucks is a little high. But then again, seeing as how these figures are like 15 bucks a piece, um, you know, you get all the extra armor, you know, you get the extra head and the weapons and stuff. So I guess it's not too bad seeing as how like the deluxe figures, I think are like $25, $30. So yeah, it's, I mean, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. But um, yeah, I uh, hope this, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a little long and kind of rambly. But um, I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you again next time.